Mixing Foundations. I have this ColourPop Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer in Medium Dark 13 Warm. I also have NYX Born to Glow Natural Radiance Foundation in Nutmeg. So I'm using these two colors to get my right skin tone. And then after I do that, I'm going to be adding in my skincare. Now I'm making sure I have enough to put in the cushion, but not too much that I won't be able to add in my skincare. I'm adding in Treatment Serum from Skin Lab, Vitamin C from Province Beauty, Else Hydrating Water Essence, and Farm Stays Snail Moisture Soothing Gel. Then I'm going to be mixing it all together. So let's put it in here. Uh, let's see how we're gonna do that because I don't have a spoon. <laughs> Um, if you're reusing one instead of using a new one like I am, you're supposed to like clean it up. Like, you know, soap and water, but also alcohol, like sterilize it. Because you can reuse one if you want. Let's see it. I'm going to scoop it in here. Oh, I feel like I made too much. This is, this is so small. Oh no. This is so small, I made so much. Oh my gosh. I made too much. Ooh. I'm supposed to like let the sponge soak it up too, but I made too much. Oh, this is such a mess. I hope this isn't a fail. <laughs> oh, please don't overflow. No, it's overflowing. through with the rest of the makeup I just want to say it looks really good on camera like I think it looks pretty good however in person it's like okay like he can I think it looks like skin in person so it kind of covers like my dark spots like it looks less bad um, in person at the same time I'm not having a very good skin day if that makes sense i haven't done a mask in a long time like a clay mask so and i just really need that because i'm like breaking out on my chin pretty badly but um but at the same time it's not horrible like i so far i like it at the same time i'm still gonna wait at the end of the day to give my complete review of my little DIY BB cushion but so far I really love how it feels like it feels so nice and it's probably like the skincare that I put in it because it's my own skincare which is um, what I was really excited for making my own BB cushion is putting my own skincare so like that's like a big plus about making your own BB cushion is putting the things that you need for your skin instead of like kind of with buying one is like you're just kind of I'm um, risking not exactly risking it but you're just kind of like getting something that's one it's like one size fits all type of thing so it's like it could work for you but it could like not work for you and with that you're kind of guessing of like you're not sure of what's in there that 
um, doesn't work for you, but when you make your own, it's like, oh, I know uh, what's working for me. So it's feel it feels really nice um, putting it on, and I like how it feels. And on camera, it looks nice, so I feel like when I take my pictures, it's going to look nice. Um, so, so far, so good. So, now, now I'm going to finish doing the rest of my makeup, and then I'm going to go on about my day, and then I'll come back and give the rest of my thoughts about um, my DIY BB cushion. So, it is 8 o'clock. So, almost about a 12-hour wear, because I started at 9 ish and overall i like to say this is pretty good so it's light coverage because you can see you can still see like my dark spots at the bottom but in like on the sides a bit and i said before that it looks better on camera than it does in person but i think later it actually does look after i put everything else on um it actually does look better and it does look pretty good in person and also during this time I'm wearing a mask anyway so um, it's it's fine it's actually it's actually pretty good so you can have the full ish face that you want but have a light look like you're not caked on which is good about BB cream which is why I like wearing it in the summer more than in the winter because you have something light and ready to go than having uh, something heavy because I usually wear heavy things for like, you know, a more full face dramatic look. Um, what's also good about this is the skincare in it. I feel like sometimes when I use like the stick foundations that um, my face breaks out a little bit later, but since there's a bit of skincare in here that you don't see it So you can see that my face didn't really get worse later because I think I feel like you see that later sometimes in um, When I'm wearing other foundations, but you don't see that with this Because there's skincare in here, so it doesn't look as bad. So I would suggest this if you have the time and since it's DIY you can have your right skin tone because you're mixing yourself well I mix mine because I use um, two wrong tinted moisturizers and make the right colors because I had to do that before because I bought two wrong ones and put them together to make the right color but you also be mindful of how much space you have in your container you'll be like me and have a mess <laughs> and I did I did went back and stuff more in here okay use every drop that's just is how I am I am the person who cuts up the, the bottle of lotion and use every drop that's just how I am but yeah and then you can tailor it to yourself and put the skincare that you need because I put, you know, vitamin C for my dark circles. I mean, not my dark circles, my dark spots. And then I have, like, collagen to, you know, to add more plump to my face. And, like, the, hydro, uh, the uh, hydrating um, essence and stuff like that. So, it's like, if you're really tailoring it to yourself instead of getting something that's, like, one size fit all. So, it's, like, it's kind of like getting a fitted outfit, but... For your face <laughs> which is really nice and then you can put little stickers on it some of these if um i know when i first saw this it was like a wish trend um kit that you can buy but that's like an asian brand and of course asian brand is not gonna come in my color <laughs> um because i think they come with a bb cream so um yeah, that's not gonna come in my color. Also, when I was researching it, someone who does like skincare stuff said not to put sunscreen in it because it like defeats the purpose of the foundation or the moisturizer that has the SPF in it or whatever. But I think it depends on 
what you're using so I don't know but I can't use sunscreen on my face because I'm allergic so I have to use like a special type of sunscreen and I just avoid it all together in my case so uh, there's no sunscreen in here other than the SPF that comes with the tinted moisturizer that I use um, in here already so yeah uh, that's it with that but overall I just really like this and I'm glad that I did this so then I have something easy already mixed for me and then I'll be able to ready to go have something light in this winter time and this mask wearing time but also still have a uh, nice looking skin when I take it off so yeah if you have any other DIY things that you think I should try leave a comment below if you like the video click make sure to click the like button share with other people uh, subscribe to look at more of my videos and I hope to see you soon bye